Okay. Uh, okay, so I have this arm uh, pretty much strung, so I'm going to put the hand on and um, sometimes I'll use a clamp. Yeah, so I think I'm going to, I don't want the knot getting pulled in there, so. So I'm going to go ahead and put a clamp here just to keep that from going in. <laughs> and just here come the feet. <laughs> For this one, I'm going to be able to pull it enough to get the hand on there. On the other side, I will probably need to use a clamp, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, but uh, okay, so I'm just going to do the same here, and if I can figure out how to speed up parts of this, I will. I'm using a program on my phone called Cute Cut. Um, and it's a pretty good program. I think I was able to upgrade to the Pro for a really cheap price, like seven or eight dollars. And it's done most of the things that I need it to do. I don't make very sophisticated videos though, so <laughs> uh, it might not be good for everybody. Um, but you can edit it, you can clip out parts. Um, and there's way, I don't add music, but I know that there's ways to do it. I've never done things like voiceovers or anything that complicated, but I think you can do that with that program if you want to. There's dogs all around and so if you hear snoring and heavy breathing <laughs> they're literally in their beds just surrounding us here good tension on that okay so I'm I am going to put a clamp on this to put the hand on um, okay. so this is what I've done I think this makes life so much easier uh, I'll show you so I've pulled the string out enough so that there's a bit of a loop and I can easily get that hand on there. Like that. Uh, using my <laughs> feet again. Here we go. So. kind of pull things to get the tension how I want it. Um, so the knot is in the center there. And um, so she's nicely suede now um, here in her, oh, oops, sorry guys, I don't think you could see. So really get some nice hand movements. Um, yeah. Um, so you can suede these girls with uh, hot glue, you know, um, if you're kind of just trying to do something quick and easy, uh, you can hot, hot glue them. Uh, I just find that the hot glue, um, 
it just doesn't last. Like it just is like within a matter of days or weeks, uh, it just doesn't loses its grip. Um, maybe it depends on the type of hot glue you're using. Uh, but I, I, I prefer this method for these girls. It depends on the dolls. Um, so these dolls were meant to be suede in this manner. This is how they were designed to function. Um, and it is uh, important that they be suede to function in the way they were meant to. Um, so uh, you're just going to get a lot more out of these dolls and enjoy them a lot more if they are suede properly. Um, and uh, the, the big one is uh, absolute essential is this joint and the two hip joints. If you don't suede those, this doll can't sit or stand stably at all. So that those two joints are just super, super critical. Um, so uh, I wasn't paying attention if these have like left and right on them. I'm not sure if they do. I can I can usually figure it out. I just play with the knees and make sure that they fit properly to see which side goes to which side. Um, and, uh, you know, everything goes together the way it's supposed to. Um, so these girls, uh, of course, now it's just going to go through the legs instead of the torso, which does make it a little easier. So you're not having to try to string and pull a string that's going all the way to the head. I, I find that that's, especially with big dolls, that's a lot of force that you have to exert. Um, so I try to keep the knot ideally in this section here, um, or if it maybe goes into one of these joints a little bit, you don't want the knot going down into the leg or getting, you know, again, that's gonna screw up your tension and your doll's not gonna pose properly. Um, so I try to keep the knot in that area. And um, so for, for this, you can, you can use this. Um, I think I'll, I'll more than likely, I'll use this for sure at the end, but uh, I just like my ribbon technique. Um, if, if I think, that I have to exert so much force that it's going to hurt my hands, then I'm more likely to want to use this tool. Um, and I, I, especially a lot of the bigger boy dolls, I definitely use this more. Um, but I feel like this doll, she's not so, there's not so much tension that it's going to, you're going to get hurt just using a ribbon. And so here now at this point, I am going to go ahead and string these two thighs so I can kind of make sure that knot's where I want it and get a little more equal tension between these two. string in that so it doesn't get sucked up. There. I hope this view is somewhat helpful. <laughs> Maybe I'll adjust it so it's not the same view the whole video. I'm going to come over this. So I'm, I'm doing it a little, there's just gonna require a lot more force um, to get through so it's longer basically so there's more force involved so 
uh, oh, I did that upside down. See? <laughs> Gotta pay attention. Um, but the point I'm trying to make with this is that, you know, slow down and think things through and don't, I've done, I've swayed, I've swayed and restrung these girls enough at this point that I really can do this really automatically, um, and have, have good, uh, idea of what I'm going to do next. And, you know, so I'm all ready. I know all the stuff that I need to collect. Um, but impatience is just, you know, going to be your killer. If you're like, oh, I don't want to get that in thing or whatever, uh, that, that tool that I need that's going to make this a lot safer and easier. Um, and then that's where you get hurt. <laughs> and I've been there and if I can find some pictures of my injuries, I, I'll see if I can put them in here. Um, I did post one before to Instagram and took, I took it down because a few people said it bothered them, which I understand. So, um, and now, now on Instagram, you can, um, uh, put things behind a warning, but still when you're scrolling, it keeps, it'll keep going to the next picture. So even that is not foolproof. Um, I probably could use my long one for this one. Oops. Let's see. Let's try that. It's a door, dog next door, so I'm coming in here with one of my thick paintbrush handles. There we go. That girl. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and put one of these feet on and, uh, so this is where, this is my longest hemostat. And I keep meaning to get one that's maybe a little longer uh, to make sure that it's going to span across a joint like this um, and not dig in or go up the leg. Um, so having a variety of these hemostats is just really helpful. Okay, let's see, is that gonna be enough? Let's see. Okay, so I've got myself a bit of a loop there uh, because when you look here, see this loop you've got to get into and it's got a rim all around it, of course, and it's in here. So you need to be able to have enough of a loop out here that you can hook it. Yeah, and see, that's I was able to get that really easily. Um, the next, the last foot is going to be oftentimes a little more challenging because at that point you've got the full tension. <laughs> so, um, let's see, hopefully I don't struggle too much. Make it look all easy. This thing this is actually this is definitely you want to use this instrument for this maneuver if I had a ribbon here and I was trying to pull that that would really cut into my hand so that that was a lot of tension and a ribbon would have that would have hurt so that saved me um, that really saved me right there I, I didn't have to hurt myself there I've got enough of a loop that I can 
do that. And um, so, so I could go in here and just release my clamp, but it would shoot up and the clamp would scratch on things. I always try to brace the clamp evenly across the joint so that it doesn't dig into it or scratch the joint um, and injure your expensive doll. There we go. Okay. So there is that beautiful girl. These dolls are the most gorgeous dolls. Um, and uh, I would, the dolls that I had, uh, that, Ray, that, that Reese suede for me, she suede's this joint here. Um, and boy, it sure is nice. It sure is nice. Um, but I don't like messing with this mechanism. I've never been able to take this joint apart uh, without having to use a whole new spring and, and everything in there. It's just a big pain in the butt. So I avoid that. I can do it if I have to, but it, yeah, I usually have to replace the spring, um, cause the string will get stretched out trying to replace it. Um, so, okay. So the way she's got these, uh, let's see, can you see in there? My ring light is broken, uh, so I've got some lamps on. But she's got this triple, instead of double, she has it tripled. Um, and I don't know if that's how she's always done it or if that's a new change. I, If they were like that previously, I didn't notice it um, when I unstrung them. But that I've noticed that so for this, I'm going. This part, I'm going to use this. Uh, it's just going to save my hand, um, and uh, um, be sure to be on top of this, so my hook isn't going to hit the string in the center. Um, but hook all of these. Come up here. There. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Where's my? There it is. My S hook. Let's see. Did I get all of them? So again, uh, I don't want to scratch this neck, so I've come in here with uh, the head puller, and I'm going to hold on to that and then unhook this, so it doesn't scratch it. <laughs> there, and hopefully that was part somewhat visible what I was doing. Um, so now it's putting the head on, um, which, uh, uh, I typically, um, usually, usually when I'm taking heads off my dolls, uh, if I'm sitting at a desk, I will just put the doll, um, in my lap and brace with my legs, uh, to, uh, for, especially for a big doll like this, that does require a bit of tension. Um, let's see here if I can do this from this position. This S hook is just a little bit on the big side to get through that hole. And so I have to kind of do go at it from the side just a little bit to get it to go through better. There. There. Oh, she's so gorgeous. And uh, the neck, without suading, the neck really can't can't hold a lot of these positions, but with suading, it does such a good job. It's so nice. Um, yeah, this, like she couldn't sit up. She could hardly sit up in the chair. Um, now she's, you know, look at this position that she can maintain. She's a heavy doll. Um, so uh, she couldn't do this when she was not suaded. So really beautiful doll. They're, they're gorgeous dolls. I'm, I'm a bit partial to them. I have a few of them. <laughs> all right. So my mint oryx, all strung. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.